Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. In this one, I'm going to talk to you about a new headlight. This is the Workos HD20. Okay, so welcome back everybody. Um, as an little intro, this is an um, open box review or unboxing review of the Workos HD20 head torch. Uh, as you can see, everything that you get in the box I've laid out in front of you. So obviously the box itself, uh, it's quite small as you can see by the size of my hand that it is. doesn't need to be any bigger than that. So you get the Workos branded elasticated headband with sort of rubberized grip for the torch itself. The head of the torch has two bulbs on, so you've got the spot and the floodlight. Then you have the main body of the torch, which obviously houses the battery and gives you the negative terminal, which is also magnetic as well, which you can hear connecting to my desk there. Uh, a 21700, uh, 4800 milliamp hour battery and an adapter for um, an 18650, so that can fit inside the body without much rattling around. So it's just like a like a little converter a little adapter so you can do that uh, you get the two-way um, belt clip uh, a lanyard and some spare o-rings and then a usb type c charging cable so that's everything you get inside the box so let's talk through some specs all right so i'm just going to run through some specifications now uh, so the led has been manufactured by samsung uh, the torch has an operating voltage of between 2.7 and 4.35 volts. Uh, so the battery options are the 21700 which has been provided and then the adapter for the 18650 lithium ion charge, uh, rechargeable batteries. So dimensions are 122 millimeters in length by 30 millimeters which is at the head the diameter. So weight is uh, 130 grams or 0.28 pounds uh, without the battery so the body is aerospace grade 6061 grade aluminium alloy which has been cnc manufactured to hard anodized to military grade specifications type 3 anti-abrasive finish it's been made water resistant to ip68 rating so up to two meters or 6.56 feet underwater it's got reverse polarity protection to protect against improper battery installation which is a great feature i love to see that and it's got advanced temperature regulation technology so if it gets too hot then it'll the brightness will dim um obviously to stop and uh, once it reaches 60 degrees celsius it'll turn off and it's got a low voltage warning so the power indicators uh, on the side um, when it's green the remaining battery power is more than 30 percent when it's red it's less than 30 percent and when it's flashing red it's sort of critical red and you need to recharge or replace as soon as possible all right, so now I've run through the specifications, I'll just quickly read uh, Workos's opinion on this uh, flashlight. So it says, Workos the HD20 is a professional bright angle head flashlight with tool lamp designed for multiple indoor and outdoor activities like camping, hiking, fishing or hunting. Uh, supplied with a headband, it can also be used as a headlamp. It's powered by a single 21.7 lithium ion rechargeable battery and rechargeable via the USB-C type ac and cc cables and can also work on reverse as a power bank uh, to charge external usb devices the 18650 batteries can be used as well uh, moreover the hd20 comes with an adjustable lanyard or a mag and a magnetic tail clip and a sophisticated user interface for flexible and convenient one-handed operation so samsung's lh35 1d and cree xp lhd emitter in neutral white tint 5000k enable HD20 to provide both spot and floodlight in one single flashlight using 90 CRI for floodlight result in great color renditions at close ranges 
So yes, some specifications. Uh, spotlight high is 1300 lumens. The floodlight high is 700 lumens. And the spot and flood together, obviously 2000 lumen outputs. Uh, in low mode, the spotlight is 50. The floodlight is 35. And the spot and flood together, 85. So the lowest distance on spotlight is 25 meters. On flood, it's 10. And a combined is 27. Uh, on turbo mode, uh, the beam distance jumps from spotlight to 141 meters. Flood at 44 meters, and a combined uh, combined beam at 144. So runtime is anywhere from 960 hours from moonlight mode, all the way down to an hour and 44 minutes on turbo. The strobe and SOS uh, are outputted at the turbo lumens outputs for spotlight 1300 for floodlight 700 okay let's put it together and have a little play before we do some beam shots i'm just going to quickly show you how to install this uh, as a headlight so obviously it says that it's a work light so a magnetic tail cap which you can hear sort of clicking on my desk there but to install it on here you can see it's like a, a rubber housing on the headlamp and you just simply push both ends through these rubberized things and then line up in the middle and then just make sure that you've not got it twisted and that is it simple obviously with it being uh, adjustable like this as well in just the rubber ring you can actually have it at any angle which you need as well which is a great feature some are limited to like five or six different angles uh, this obviously you can put almost 360 but it'd be pointless pointing it towards your head because uh, you won't be able to see any beam Right, uh, let's have a little play. All right, so we're just gonna go through like uh, the operating part of the torch now. So I'll hold for two seconds, uh, one click, and it should turn on for the moonlight mode. So yeah, this is moonlight mode. Output's on the screen. So one click will turn it off. Okay, so two fast clicks, turn on the turbo mode. And it obviously gives you both Outputs there, the flood and spot. And two fast clicks again. We'll cycle to SOS. Uh, sorry, to strobe. And then two fast clicks again. This is SOS. Another two fast clicks will be cycle beacon. And one click will turn this off. All right, so three fast clicks uh, should check your battery states. You see that we've got the red output on the top there, showing that you do need to charge the battery. So four fast clicks would be an electronic uh, lockout. So the flashing indicates that I have successfully activated the lockout, and then when I press the button, it will flash to tell me that the button's been pressed, but not actually activate the torch. Right, so I'm going to take the lockout back off. We're in low mode. So from here, if I uh, click and hold, or hold, click and hold, it should change the brightness between the low, medium and high. Oop. You can see it's going up in step sequence. One click should turn it off. If I do two fast clicks, it should activate turbo, which will be uh, both the flood and spot. Yeah, so you see the it jump to turbo there. So two clicks here should produce a uh, cycle strobe. Another two clicks should be SOS. Another two clicks should be the beacon. So one click should return it back uh, to off. Right, so to cycle between flood and spotlight, um, three clicks. So one click, obviously, you can see that we've got the, the main light on. 
three clicks should put you onto both so you've got flood and spot together there and then three clicks again should just put you on the spot okay so you see that the lower light is on there right let's have a look at some beam shots so yeah i'm going to kill my interior lights very shortly but the first uh, sequence that we're going to be doing is on spotlight uh, so that's the larger of the two leds um, on the head of the torch uh, so going from moonlight mode all the way up to turbo and strobe so strobe warning on the screen now uh, so i'm just going to kill my internal light so to activate the moonlight mode uh, it's just press and hold for two seconds and this is your moonlight mode uh, the output and run times are on the screen now okay from there turn it back off with one click if you turn it on with one click this comes actually on in low mode now and then to cycle through then uh, you want low mode to medium again all your lumens and run times are on there now and cycle again low Ooh. medium high so here then high and then I'm just going to do a double click for turbo okay and then strobe warning okay turn that off I'm going to reactivate the torch now um, and I'm going to cycle from the main through to the both of them so you can see and you can see they're both uh, illuminated so both spot and flood so I'm going to get to lowest oh, lowest point If I turn it off and then press and hold for two seconds, that'll come on in moonlight. So this is moonlight with both LEDs on. Okay, and press and hold. And low, medium, high. Again, all the lumen outputs and run times are on the screen now for you. And then double click for turbo. Quite a significant pop there between high and turbo. And then strobe warning. Okay, and we'll kill that. And then from here, we're going to cycle through to just the flood, on, so the smaller of the two LEDs. Okay, and then I'm going to cycle to lowest one. Turn it off, and I'm going to do activate moonlight mode. Press and hold. This is your moonlight mode. Two second press gives you this low one lumen output. Okay, press and hold. This is low. Press and hold again. Medium. Press and hold again. And this is high. And then double tap for turbo. And then double tap again for strobe. Okay, and we'll kill that. Alright, so this has been a review of the Workos HD20 uh, magnetic tail cap work light and headlight all in one. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you think about this one. There's a link in the description to go and buy one of these. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.